Uh, with me now is the Welsh lightweight champion Gavin Gwynn and joined by his commercial director Phil Whaley. Um, Gav, you're meant to be boxing on a live S4C show next Saturday night. Um, can you just tell the, the viewers why that fight is not happening? Um, last week, one of my last sparring sessions, um, just went over on my knee, dislocated my knee, so obviously um, went, to, went to the hospital. Um, they said there was no broken bones, but I had to wait like four hours for a scan, so I thought, bugger that, as long as it's not broke, I'll go home and, uh, and uh, just, just strap it up and fight on. But I woke up in the morning, obviously ballooned up, so I had to go up and um, have an MRI scan. I'd done, um, I think it was cart cartilage, cartilage damage, so I'm, it put me out for a couple of weeks, like, so, yeah. I mean, I know you're really dedicated to boxing. You've also got a second job as well. So, I mean, how much of a blow was it for you to be to have to be forced to pull out of this show? I was um, gutting the next day. Um, I went up the hospital and the doctor came in and spoke to me and said, oh, look, uh, you won't be fighting um, next week. And I just burst into tears. Like, it's, I put everything into this. Like, it's, it's one of my dreams. Like, do you know what I mean? It was just... It was just heartbreaking. He was saying that to me. I, I, I would have fought on with this knee brace, like, do you know what I mean? It wouldn't have bothered me, like. But um, it's just one of the things I can't do it. So, so have the doctors told you how long you're likely likely to be out for, or at least how long you um, until you can start training again? I'm back training. <laughs> I, I, they, they, everyone's like telling me not to, not to do it, but I'm 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 on the exercise bike, just trying to build the muscle up in the knee and everything else and doing a, doing a couple of lengths in the pool and everything else but like as for running and them things like that like I, I about eight weeks they said so yeah and um could you just uh, tell the viewers as well uh, this gentleman to your left uh, what his role is within um the Gavin Gwynn team yeah um massive help for me Phil like he sold all my sponsors he've um, got 10 on board with me now uh, companies who's who's given me uh paying me monthly so it's help me have time off work obviously because I work full time so I can have two or three days off a week so it's uh, making it a little bit easier and he's uh, done a fantastic job fair play to him So Phil, um, can you just tell us how you became part of the, uh, the the Double G team Double G, the, the Formula 1 team I got involved with Gav when he was 3-0 and um, starting on the road as a full time uh, pro struggling for sponsorship I decided to, to get involved with him give him a bit of help and support so, we, so that he could uh, concentrate on the, on the training and the preparing and we've just been on from there and I've been with him since 3-0 he's 10-0 now so the focus of what, what I do is to obtain a sponsorship for him um, basically sort his, all his, his kit out take the pressure off him so that he can concentrate on the job ahead so he's fully uh, prepared then for fight night so if I'm doing that, then I'm taking, you know, means he's concentrating fully then. Every bit, all our sponsors are playing a massive part uh, for Gavin, meaning he can take extra time off for training, training camps. You know, like um, the two weeks when he went to uh, LA with uh, Lee Selby, that wouldn't have happened without our sponsors. And we thank every sponsor that's uh, helping Gavin Gwynn at the moment. As uh, Phil mentioned there, you, you were recently in LA training. Um, what was that like? About an amazing experience for you? It was uh, unbelievable, like in uh, Freddie Roach's gym and the, the Maywood boxing gym, like full of Mexicans. Like it was, um, it was a bit of a surreal uh, experience. But like, like I said, like before, um, uh, uh, the camp was going great. Like it's the best I've been sparring. My weight was on, right on target. I was under, if anything. It's like, just one of them things that happened. I just got to get through it now and um, get back better, recover, and um, hopefully fight in a couple of months' time. Like. What was the, um, the, the the sparring like in in the Mayweather gym and the uh, the wild card in LA? In the Maywood gym, it was um, um, the it was just like full of Mexicans just want to take your head off, yeah. And and then in the uh, the wild card gym, and um, I sparred uh, Machado, who was then um, WBA super featherweight champion. Um, I sparred another unbeaten boy uh, with. Um, Miguel Cotto signed under Miguel Cotto and then we got asked back then um, to be his sparring partner um, so that was brilliant Like, What's it like for um, a thin white Welsh boy from the valleys when you walk into a gym full of Mexicans um, do they all sort of turn and stare at you I mean that's sort of the image you get in your head Yeah that's, that's what it was like it was a bit uh, 
like Lee fitted right in because he's like a superstar, and he. So for me, I just turned up. It looked like I was just a water boy. <laughs> but uh, after they see me sparring, then I earned their respect and everything else. Like so, it was good. I mean, for you as um, a professional boxer, taking your career forward. I mean, how valuable is that other experience of training in America? Oh, uh, um, you you can't buy that kind of experience. Like the boys I was sparring out there, they've had, they've had a lot more fights than me, like twenty odd fights than that. So. Uh, the, the experience I've gained out of that is uh, invaluable. Like, yeah. And of course, as, as Phil was saying there, it's thanks to your sponsors that have allowed you to have this experience. Yeah, because um, without them, I wouldn't have been able to have two weeks off work and obviously paid a mortgage and uh, all the other all the other bills and whatever my missus is buying and spending the money on. Like, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, Phil, you're the commercial director, if you like. Um, so, who are Gavin's sponsors? We can. Uh, Keep it eye out for for uh, products, etc. Yeah, spe special thanks go to uh, Crosscheck Clothing, um, Nelson Pizzas, uh, The Luxury Source, uh, Pro Trade Wales, uh, Clean Bite, Lidsters Fishing Supplies, Mid Glam Fork Truck Training Services, uh, Dario Security, Bayside Estate Agents, uh, G Force Telecom, Gwent Motor Car Company that supply Gav with uh, um, a, a car to travel to and from the gym, uh, Acorn Travel. Uh, Richard Thomas, who has been brought along to do the strength and conditioning, been a great uh, asset. Impact Training Services, and then we've got the, the the last one is Pro Trade Wales. Plus, we've got a number of uh, private sponsors. Uh, M Michael Michael Perry's come come on board with us as well. Plus, we've got a few others that uh, prefer to remain in the background. Well, you must be the most sponsored boxer in professional boxing, I think, that, which is great. It's great to see. Um no local businesses getting behind a, a local fighter like yourself. Yeah, yeah it's um, without them, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be possible. Like everyone, everyone's given their given their little bit of help, and I, I can't thank them all enough. Like so. Okay, thank you, Gav. Thank you, Phil. Um, look forward to seeing you both in the future, and hopefully you're fitting well and ready to rumble, Gav. See you, mate. Thank you very much. Yep.